here I am. I am going on some, I don't know what's the name of this train, but it is some train. And I just give you guys a bit of a view. Guys, it's so cold. I am in Moscow. I am in Moscow heading to St. Petersburg. It is so cold and I am just gonna get inside the train right now. I am freezing my ass off. <laughs> I'm freezing my ass off, oh my god. Yeah, so yeah, this is this is my train and I'll see you later guys. I'll see you later. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am in uh, in St. Petersburg. I'm going to be walking around and giving you guys a little bit of uh, of the the, the happenings of here in St. Petersburg. Right now it's very very cold. I'm not sure. Let me check how many degrees it is. Uh, I want to show you guys the timings. Timings according to my watch. Is it going to even show? It's one, one sixteen. And I think it is. Uh, it could be either either four degrees or three degrees my hand is freezing right now because i have <laughs> i don't have gloves my right hand side is please freezing this one oh it's freezing because i don't have gloves so let's just i'm not sure what is this building i don't know if it is like a, it's it's one of the cathedrals or what is it but let me give you guys the front camera and then I'll show you. Oh, it's very cold. It's very cold in St. Petersburg today. I need to wear my gloves before my hand freezes to death. Okay. How am I going to film and wear my gloves at the same time? how is that going to be possible let's see so i'm just going for a little walk my hotel is somewhere somewhere down there it's a walking distance but let's just go along these streets and see the happenings of this place uh pretty much what can i say about saint petersburg every single person especially as in most people here don't speak uh, english so you need to actually to get around if you don't speak russian you need to to, to use to download google translation huh? so that it's easy for you to communicate with people around here because the first time I came here I was really frustrated because I remember I came in the evening and initially my flight was delayed and so I had to let me actually give you guys how am I gonna do this? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't understand how I'm gonna do this. I want to give you guys front camera so that I can speak while you see my face. But seems like because I wore gloves again, it's really cold, I'm freezing. So this one just seems to be sh some random shops around here and it's raining all the time so it's very necessary to have an umbrella with you whenever you are you are traveling to St. Petersburg. Today it was raining. Look at my what I'm wearing. So I am I am you know the my winter clothes are very very <laughs> very very handy. 
I, I have some amazing winter clothes that even though I'm walking in this very cold weather, sometimes when I'm walking I feel hot. <laughs> it's really nice because I wear layers and layers of clothes. So anyway, what I was saying was that when I was coming here, the train you have to take speed train. There is a speed train that you have to take. So I basically just uh, took it online. Let me try and actually there is yeah everything is like written in Russian. Some of them are written in, in English. Good luck with translating everything. Good luck. So anyway, what I was saying was that I booked a train online and then my flight delayed by two or three hours. So by the time I reached the train station, and again something that uh, you need to understand when you come to visit St. Petersburg, just make sure that you download yeah, uh, an application called Yandex. Uh, it's like an Uber or a Taxify or whatever, but it's an application to use. So let me try, try and uh, <laughs> and find a place, a place to stand so that I can. The, the wind is a bit too much. <gasps> there is a struggle here because I'm filming by myself I had to change the camera lens. <laughs> okay. So, I was saying about the need to download the index taxi when you are coming here because if, if you don't download, as in you need a taxi to get you to wherever you are. You need a taxi to go where you, wherever you are going, and um, and airport taxis are very very expensive. So, but if you get uh, Yadex, it's like an Uber. It's extremely expensive, as in it's, it's the cheapest option. So it's a uh, it's good to use uh, Yadex, you know. And what else was I telling? You? like when you come from uh, because me I my flight came came through uh, Moscow and I'm sure there are other flights that go directly to St. Petersburg that you can take but mine just went through Moscow so I had to take a three hours plus or four hours plus train which actually I booked a train online it's like the train online is like $70 and that, those are the, the normal uh, prices for this train anyway. So I took a train and then by the time I was reaching uh, my train schedule, uh, I had missed it because apparently if you miss a train, you have to, you have to pay afresh. Uh, as in if you, if you miss the train, it's none of their business. And I had the worst, worst experience especially because I missed my train and I had in case I'm fighting against the, against the this ridiculous beat. So because I missed my train I had to you know and you know you cannot speak I was not speaking English as in in Russia. Everyone speaks in in Russian here. 
So anybody, everybody you ask a question while typically like running away from you because obviously they don't know what you're trying to say or you know and uh, it was very terrible for me uh, trying to uh, to get my way around here and I'm, I was lost so what am I trying to do I'm trying to find a street I don't want to get lost because I'm trying to get back to my my hotel but I will get it it's okay so what I am trying to say is that if if you don't uh, if you don't um, catch your train on time you're gonna pay another a fresh for your train so that's just normal that's just what happens here and uh, it was such a mess when I was coming it was an absolute mess but eventually and actually when I missed I miss my first train it was a three hour 45 minutes train so when I missed it I had to take the next available train which was six hours train it was the train ride was actually not not that it's not it's, it's just typical train ride there was nothing interesting because there was no meals available within the ticket that you have purchased I purchased a $70 ticket there was no meal with that ticket so they were selling meals in the train and basically yeah they were selling meals in the train nothing interesting nothing to see in the view there was no interesting view nothing to call home about because the whole area and the streets were full of snow nothing really because you know the train pretty much runs through the forests and just like by the countryside with, where there is nothing interesting to see so yeah when i reached here here in this in st Peter petersburg after six hours and a couple of minutes um i reached here uh, around uh, what time i reached here in the evening and my hotel uh, driver was waiting for me so it was easier for me to get to the hotel and the hotel basically depends me i booked a hotel from priceline.com um, I used to book a, a train, a, a, a hotel from booking.com, but it's bullshit. I had a lot of uh, bad experience, like there was a bad experience I had with booking.com. And from then onwards, I said uh, I dished booking.com, you know, because it was just ridiculous what happened to me with booking.com. I don't know if I should tell you guys the story what happened to me. What happened was that when I was looking for a visa, I had to go to Dubai to stay in Dubai for like one night or so so i had to book a, 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 a book what book a hotel hotel stay uh, just so i can stay in a hotel for one day uh, as i wait for my visa to be processed in dubai so um i remember my friend had a, a conference that she had to go to so she basically had a hotel room for a, a, at least uh, two nights so I stayed two nights for free because I was with her in Dubai and then the last night that I was supposed to be waiting for my passport the next day I had to stay so I had to pay you won't believe what how much money I paid I paid so much money it was like uh, when you come to it was too much it was just too much because they hiked me and also the the hotel receptionist were some girls from Africa. Um, I don't know where from there was. One was from Kenya and another one I think from Tanzania. They were just like uninterested. They were just not very helpful. They just seemed very cold and somehow rude. And they charged my booking.com char charged my my what is it called my my booking.com charged my card online and then they could not post it in the hotel website so the hotel kept harassing me and was like telling me to pay 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 and i'm like how do i pay and i've already paid in booking.com you have to deal with booking.com regarding this so i was like how can booking.com take money from my card and not post it in the hotel where i'm staying 
So there was just a big, huge, huge miscommunication regarding that. And I wanted to cancel, I wanted to ask them to give me my money back because I didn't want them to actually keep harassing me regarding this and all this mess that was going on. But they refused to, to return my money and it was a mess. So I had to continue staying there and uh, and I, I understand with the, these girls who are who are, who don't really are not happy in this hotel in these hotel uh, jobs because I know that these girls are very very getting they get underpaid with so much day uh, work working hours and I do know that it's mostly in Dubai in most most cases it is people work like slaves and uh, it's uh, there, there is no workers union that is protecting them they are be getting absolutely underpaid they are getting paid like like less than 300 euro uh, 300 uh, pounds per month and i don't know how much is that in dollars but it's like very less money you know so these girls i would literally totally understand why these girls would be not happy so Obviously, even me, I was having a bad experience with the, with the hotel and I was not happy. And they were also not happy probably working there and they couldn't be bothered even to, um, to do anything about, uh, about my unhappiness.